Right. Um, okay. So now for the uh, for the meeting today, what what topic does everybody want to uh, maybe look at? Uh, speaking or writing or. Okay. To me, uh, personally, it would be uh, more on writing, but to other people, I have um, no idea. So now, um, what, 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 which, which task then uh, specifically? Uh, task one or two, or or, or either. Or... Uh, task two specifically for task one. Uh, it's it's quite. Uh, somehow easy but for uh, task two that's the that's the thing that is quite challenging okay um right okay fine so um okay and, and i think no one else has mentioned anything they want to uh, cover so what we'll do then is we'll start with uh writing task two and then we'll do speaking also uh so that's a good look so um Okay, does anyone want to choose a number between 1 and 221? So uh, any number between 1 and... Oh, hang on, I've got to make sure I'm teaching another student. I don't think so. Uh, Nope, that's fine. Uh, okay, so does anyone want to choose a number between one and 221? Any number at all. You can write it in the chat window if you want. 20. 20. Okay, not 20. No, I'm joking. 20 is fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, previous. Um, Okay, right, okay, so uh, let's see. <clears throat> now, just to say, first of all, um, um, you know, there are um, different uh, methods to writing. So I'll do my one, but there are, there will be other teachers who may have different methods in it. And, you know, I'm not saying one is better than the other necessarily, or maybe it is, but it's kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of this, Different methods, uh, not so significant. Okay. Um, let's see here. How do you have time? Keep my own time. Right. Um, okay. Now I'm going to share my screen. Oh, I'm not. Um, okay. Right. Okay. So uh, have a look at uh, task two. Um, and uh, oh, someone else has joined. Okay. I'll just say, uh, I'll just let this person know. Hello. Hello, we have started. Uh, we, uh, anyway, so we're definitely going to speaking, but uh, uh, as soon as we can, let's do the first task to you today. Uh, okay, so, and uh, right, let's go ahead. Okay, uh, as computers uh, are being used more in education, there will soon be uh, no role for teachers in the classroom. You should write it, uh, you should have reasons to, okay, so basically it's gonna be something like, uh, hang on, I'll try and get my little um, pen. Uh, so, uh, uh, so you should write about, uh, you should spend, a, so uh, it's basically, you know, to what extent you agree or disagree with some of that. Um, and there are obviously different types of questions. So, okay, so the first thing I normally do is just write synonyms. So I'll go through the questions, get different vocabulary. Um, so anyway, so, um, okay, so I just found some questions. So, uh, okay, so. Uh, anyway, so yeah, normally that's what I do, um, but uh, just to save time, I'll, I'll uh, skip that step uh, in this occasion. So, uh, so if, I'll just introduce something first of all. So, uh, um, uh, so regarding the issue, I'm going to try and choose the color I can read. Um, and I'll just introduce myself quickly. Sorry if I didn't say, uh, my, my name is Philip from England, and I've been teaching the IELTS line for over 14 years. And first started teaching English uh, over 25 years ago with breaks, and I'm from the UK. So. But uh, I've still got my hair after 25 years. No, no, it's not fake. Okay. 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 <laughs> or some of my hair. Right. Okay. So I'm uh, teaching English. Right. Uh, regarding the, okay. So regarding uh, the uh, issue of, uh, let's see, uh, technology uh, based learning uh, within, uh, hi, Mohammed. Uh, sorry, I won't, uh, we've got a new 
uh, person here, uh, Mohammed. I won't say hello just because we're going to just keep in my own time. But uh, obviously, we're speaking in a minute. So we're on the issue of technology-based learning within um, uh, within uh, the educational field. So you notice actually that I'm I'm always trying to change the vocabulary to not repeat the same words. Uh, it is uh, evident. Uh, it is evident uh, that. Um, uh, it is evident that. Um, uh, it is evident uh, that um, uh, uh, people uh, that uh, the uh, human uh, uh, the human factor is becoming less relevant, uh, le less uh, relevant uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, face of uh, this uh, type. Uh, so I'm using sort of nice, you know, vocabulary and things like that. So I'm just checking the chat window here. Oh, you can't hear any kind of sound. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think others can uh, uh, please. Uh, okay, I can hear now. Oh, excellent. Okay, nice, nice to hear you. Very well. Uh, so, uh, is it becoming less relevant in the face of this type? Um, uh, from uh, the uh, one perspective, uh, from, from uh, the one side, uh, it is evident of that. Um, so, uh, from one side, it's evident of that. Uh, it is evident that uh, many uh, are claiming that uh, claiming uh, the uh, that uh, the traditional uh, role cannot uh, be uh, replaced um, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, um, uh, it cannot be replaced uh, in terms of, um, uh, of, a, of, a, of simply a box uh, uh, due to the uh, innovation and intelligence required. Um, uh, 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 conversely, uh, others uh, signify, uh, uh, otherwise uh, identify that um, already there is uh, autonomous, uh, autonomous uh, individual, uh, autonomous learning uh, taking place. Uh, I've got a message. A few uh, that there is autonomous uh, learning taking place. Um, um, Okay, um, uh, so personally, uh, to my mind, uh, I think uh, that uh, overall, uh, uh, overall uh, humans, uh, or the, uh, the overall uh, human intelligence uh, will always uh, be relevant uh, for the uh, foreseeable future. Um, okay, I'm that incorrectly. Um, oh, that's correct. Okay, so uh, uh, um, see, uh, personally, so others uh, are sort of saying place, and uh, that, um, uh, and that uh, individuals uh, and that uh, learners uh, want uh, to be more individualistic, individualistic, and the first reason I think that will, uh, will always be relevant to the future. Uh, uh, however, uh, the uh, new, uh, the new uh, learnings. Uh, the new learning perspective cannot be uh, perspective uh, cannot uh, be ignored. Uh, so, first of all, I think that uh, I think that as will be demonstrated, that as will be demonstrated. Um, okay, uh, considering uh, the um, uh, one, uh, uh, considering uh, the uh, uh, primary argument um, uh, that. Uh, um, uh, uh, so, considering the uh, primary argument uh, that um, uh, individual, uh, sorry, that uh, everyone uh, needs uh, a teacher, um, it is a, a transparent uh, that, um, to some degree, uh, to some to some degree or greater, um, uh, that to some degree or greater, um, uh, computers can. Uh, never replace um, the uh, the, uh, uh, the the uh, um, the degree of intelligence uh, required. Um, uh, for instance, uh, for instance, um, um, in um, uh, let's see, uh, when when designing, uh, uh, so for instance, uh, when um, uh, when designing a course. Uh, it is clear that uh, computer that uh, no computer uh, can 
uh, can uh, do uh, this thing. Um, okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just stating the arguments in the first paragraph or introducing it, stating the arguments, giving my perspective, what I'm going to argue. And then I'm kind of, for then in the second paragraph, I'm going to more detail about the arguments from one perspective, the other. Next paragraph will be arguments from another perspective. And in the last uh, paragraph, we'll kind of be summing it all up. Uh, for instance, when designing courses, it's clear that no computer uh, uh, can uh, do this thing, uh, can uh, do this thing um, uh, uh, su such as uh, designing uh, a complex course uh, by itself. Um, uh, and uh, moreover, even if a, um, uh, more of, even if a, um, a, pro a program was, uh, was designed, uh, that uh, could run independently, um, uh, it would uh, not be able to, um, it would not be able to uh, create uh, new uh, learning pathways, uh, uh, to, to create a completely new uh, learning pathways uh, as is uh, evidence, as is uh, evidence uh, in um, all uh, learning areas currently in all and learning areas uh, in the UK currently. So I like to sort of put it like a current, like a real life example, not make it too theoretical. Um, okay, uh, turning next, so, okay, so basically introduce the arguments, giving one side, giving the other side, and then I'll just say my opinion and then kind of going into it. Um, if one doesn't have to always say the opinion, in fact, uh, but that's kind of, I, do, I wouldn't traditionally in fact, so maybe I wouldn't all the time do it, but anyway, I uh, just did it for this season. Uh, I think there's different, you know, different styles, obviously. So turning uh, to uh, the other uh, side of uh, the argument, uh, it is uh, it is evident uh, that uh, it, it is evidence that that uh, there has uh, been a uh, groundswell uh, in development uh, regarding uh, the issue of. Um, I'm just my own the chat windows. Sorry. Uh, regarding the issue of um, uh, the uh, independence uh, of uh, technology. Um, okay, probably actually one thing I didn't mention is that we've got actually uh, kind of the social factor as well. Uh, it's very less uh, I've heard say is that, uh, that uh, Cambridge Police and uh, uh, um, innovation, intelligence, as well as social, social interaction required. Okay, uh, so Murphy uh, can run independently, uh, and I'll show obviously what I'm doing in a minute. Uh, hopefully, um, okay. So Murphy even program was designed that run. It would not be able to uh, create completely, uh, completely, uh, uh, completely, uh, completely a new or completely modern or also new learning pathways as evidence uh, as is in evidence uh, as it's evidence in all uh, as well as uh, as well as uh, no one wants to. Uh, uh, purely interact with a screen. I turn the other side. The argument is evident that there's been grants on development regarding the issue of the independence in technology. Uh, illustrating this, and I always try to avoid the, the terms, uh, ex uh, for example, because it's kind of the word uh, basic. So, illustrating this, for instance, and sometimes demonstrating this. Illustrating this, uh, in the UK at the moment, um, uh, in the UK at the moment, um, uh, many uh, will uh, prepare uh, for a driving test uh, using um, using a technology. Um, okay. Uh, however, uh, um, uh, additionally, um, uh, it can uh, be uh, more uh, efficient uh, to uh, it can be more efficient uh, to uh, just uh, learn uh, with a computer rather than having the distractions uh, and uh, lack of efficiency uh, of uh, learning in the classroom environment. Okay, and normally what I like to do is, is kind of make like 75% one argument, 25% the other. So many, uh, from the other side, is, is evident. Uh, so first of all, I think this, okay, so overall, considering that, okay, the primary, in terms of the uh, secondary other side of the argument, so primary and secondary, 75%, 25% argument, 25% argument. Uh, okay, so additionally, can be, uh, uh, rather than having a distraction, so like efficiency of learning in a classroom environment. Um, uh, however, uh, as uh, was noted, 
um, even uh, uh, however, as is uh, as is that window. Uh, however, as is uh, evident, uh, still uh, a human exam examiner will need uh, to uh, test the practical uh, uh, aspects uh, of a driving test, uh, as opposed uh, to it uh, being purely theoretical. Um, okay, so summing up, it is uh, hence uh, demonstrable that, and I'll always, although I'm kind of repeating the same argument three times, you know, or, or, or basically here the argument and then repeating and then summarizing what I said, uh, but I'll try and use, use different vocabulary to make not make it not repetitive. So sum, uh, summing up, uh, it has, uh, it is so summing up here. It is hence demonstrable uh, that. Um, and so then we have this hence demonstrable that um, uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the current uh, time, at least, uh, uh, human, uh, humans uh, still have a, a role to play, uh, to play uh, that uh, is, that will not uh, be surpassed uh, by uh, machines. Um, uh, 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 whilst uh, it is always, uh, a, I'm trying to sum up the arguments now. So whilst it is always a good uh, idea to innovate uh, and uh, develop, um, even if uh, even if uh, even if a supreme uh, level of artificial uh, intelligence was reached, uh, we uh, are still human. We are still social creatures. Uh, social uh, creatures. Uh, at heart, um, and uh, no, I'll just make sure I'm asking the question directly. So, okay, so okay, fine. So it's quite a general question. We're still here, so I'm pretty hard, and no amount of funny, uh, of of uh, witty graphics or uh, interesting uh, or interesting uh, uh, st uh, interesting uh, uh, study concepts. Uh, will uh, be able to replace uh, a, an actual human being. And then in the last sentence, I always like trying to talk about the future. So looking towards the future, um, it is uh, hence, uh, it is hence, uh, 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 it, is, it is hence uh, undeniable that uh, the uh, good old and the good old uh, tried and Tested uh, methodology, methodol methodology uh, of uh, human uh, interaction uh, and uh, development will continue to override uh, to override uh, the uh, rush for uh, technological improvement. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure me where that was. Uh, let's see. Here, uh, quite a lot. Oh, it's oh, it's way too many of them. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, uh, did I rewrite that many? Uh, okay, let me see here. Hang on, if I get rid of that. Um, okay, so don't do that. <laughs> exactly. I'm trying to write less, but I am. okay. So probably I should take a, like at least one or two lines from each paragraph. Okay. So uh, anyway, but but anyway, I mean, what I say to my students actually is, if they can write quickly and well, it doesn't really matter if they write a lot of words. But generally, trying to uh, not write so many. Um, okay, so now then, um, our computers. Uh, uh, now, one of the things I like to do also is to kind of use a variety of different tenses, you know, past perfect, present perfect, things like that. Uh, so, I've got the future here, uh, present tense here, future here, present, uh, modal verb, present. So, probably I could try and, you know, use, uh, for instance, it, uh, it, you know, maybe it has never, it, it has, uh, uh, it, 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 has, it, it has been, for example, present perfect, has been always clear. Uh, so to, to the secondary, uh, uh, turning to this uh, secondary other side of the argument, uh, it uh, was evident, uh, it, or it had recently been evident, or has been evident, so again, using present perfect, uh, that uh, additionally, it can be more, uh, having, a, uh, having a, as is evident, uh, uh, still, uh, a human exam uh, having. I'm not sure it's that. Enjoying all time. Okay, so we are still 
uh, looking towards her, it is a hint that, uh, and then I'd like to talk. Okay, so basically what I did was I introduced the topic here and I gave my opinion. I don't actually normally teach my students to necessarily write the opinion, but I think this may be a star I've seen recently, so I just have to incorporate it now. But I may not actually do that if I took the exam myself, for example, today. Um, and then, so I introduced the topic, introduced the two different arguments, and then the uh, giving the argument for, argument against, and then also here, I'm sort of summing up the arguments again. So say what you're going to say, as the, as the style uh, is uh, say it for an essay. Say what you're going to say, say it, and then say what you said. So regarding the issue of technology-based learning within the educational field, it is evident that the human factor is. So read the question: Are computers as computers are becoming uh, being used more and more in education? So we offer teachers uh, and classrooms really to the screen. So. Uh, so I'm introducing the topic, or introducing the topic, giving the two arguments, and then also setting my opinions. So that's optional, but that's probably the style I'm changing towards, although I normally wouldn't do it, but I happen to do it now. Uh, so regarding the issue of uh, technology-based learning within the educational field, it is evident that human factors become less relevant in the face of this type. So I'm introducing the topic. From the, from the, and I'm using different vocabulary, of course. From the one side, it's evident that many are claiming that uh, the traditional role cannot be replaced in certain terms of simply a box, due to the innovation, intelligence, as well as uh, social interaction required. So I'm using sort of nice variety of vocabulary, uh, you know, different of course to the question. So no one makes sense. Conversely, others identify that already there is autonomous learning, you know, using long words, complex words in place, and the learners want to be more individualist. So not writing short sentences, just you know, 15 to 25 word sentences, for example. Personally, to my mind, I think that as uh, we demonstrate a rule, uh, human intelligence, uh, that is demonstrable uh, uh, comma, um, and check for errors, you know, clearly I made errors here, but uh, a human being, human tenants will always be relevant to the future, uh, will be relevant to the future. However, the new learning perspective can be ignored. Considering the primary argument that everyone needs a teacher, it is now, is that the question? Sorry, is that the question? Okay, so normally I'd write the sentence before I start writing. Uh, considering uh, the primary argument that, that uh, everyone needs a teacher, uh, oh, okay, I've got here, okay, so let's say, please log in. Uh, hi, we started. We started. Second. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, considering the primary argument that everyone needs a teacher, it is transparent that to some degree or, or, or greater, uh, to some degree or greater, computers can never replace the degree of intelligence required. For instance, avoiding the words, for example, is very basic. Uh, and also trying to avoid the word people. It's many terms in the question, and it's kind of basic word also. For instance, when it's done a course, it has always been clear that no computer can do the thing such as, uh, such as uh, uh, designing a complex course for itself. Moreover, even if a program was designed, uh, moreover, even if a program was designed uh, that could run independently, it would not be able to create complete new learning pathways as is evidence in all, uh, uh, as evidence or learning errors in the UK currently, as well as no one wants to purely interact with the screen. Turning to the secondary other uh, side of the argument, it has been evident that there has been a groundswell in development so regarding the issue of the independence of technology. Illustrating this in the UK at the moment, many will prepare for driving tests using, so I'm using real life examples here rather than speaking too, too theoretically. Illustrating this uh, in the UK at the moment, many will prepare for driving tests using technology. Additionally, it can be more efficient to just learn with a computer rather than having the distractions and lack of efficiency of learning in a classroom environment. Uh, okay, so having as is evident still uh, as is evident still uh, uh, having uh, as is as is evident. Okay, maybe an error here. So always check uh, because you know even myself, I, you know, I've got an audience. I'm not focused 100 percent perhaps as well as normally would, but uh, it, yeah, it's still possible to make a mistake even if I'm an honest teacher, for example. Having as is evident uh, still a human uh, still uh, having uh, as is uh, uh, as evident still a human examiner. Uh, okay, so it doesn't quite make sense. So uh, I'll just change it. Uh, so. Um, and so I need to say, uh, uh, needs to say, comma, nice question there. As is evident, still a human design will need to test the practical aspects of driving tests as opposed to it being purely theoretical. So giving real life examples, not just speaking theoretically. Uh, summing up, it is hence to most of all that for the current time at least, humans will still play a role, uh, so have a role to play that will not be surpassed by machines. So again, you notice I'm using uh, different vocabulary you're trying to use from you know, all the way through. But, it, but again, if I was in a real exam, I can plan that a bit better. While citizens are good at to innovate and develop, even if supreme level of artificial intelligence has reached, we're still social creatures at heart, and no amount of witty graphics or interesting study concepts will be able to replace an actual human. Looking towards the future, it is hence undeniable that the good old tried and tested methodology of human interacting, so this is kind of an idiom, good old tried and tested, uh, or odd and tried and tested, 
uh, try and use idioms as far as you can, but obviously it's, it's not always possible for them to be academic, so just be careful about that. Looking towards the future is no, hence undeniable that the good old tried and tested and methodology of human interaction and developments that will call, continue to override the rush for technological improvement. Okay, there we go. Any questions, comments, anything like that? Uh, hi, Mr. Philip. Hi. I have a question. Yeah, um, is it um, the, the difference between academic and general exams are like a huge difference or um, because I have read that um, academe is more difficult compared to general. Is it correct? Is it true? Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I think for the task two, what I've heard is uh, I've, I've heard like on um, uh, one of my online friends uh, who's an us, uh, web uh, expert, uh, he said on his website one time uh, that there's essentially for the task two, there's no difference really for the question. You know, it may just be slightly more of a general type question. Uh, that was his, and he was a very, very experienced guy called Dominic. Um, and or someone in Newcastle online, um, and then for the task one, it's going to be a letter, um, and then for the uh, for the general, and then it's going to be a report, uh, you know, graph whatever for the task one for academics. So uh, basically, the uh, the the, um, uh, the task one will be you know much more uh, uh, academic vocabulary perhaps, whereas uh, the uh, the task two um, is. Uh, a little bit of background on so that person. Uh, whereas uh, the task two, uh, 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 sorry, we're, we're, the general uh, task one will be kind of informal language potentially, um, and you know more of a general topic. For example, write a friend, write a letter to your friend, or something like that uh, for task one, or an email to your friend. Whereas the task two is kind of academic vocabulary from the start, you know, report on the chart or, or data or map or some of that. Um, and then the topic for the task two, it may actually be. Uh, slightly more uh, informal, uh, sorry, slightly slightly less academic, you know, question. For example, for the general, you know, maybe I'll say, you know, what, what are favorite hobbies in your part in your country, you know, kind of question. Uh, whereas perhaps for uh, the academic, it may be a bit more serious in the sense, you know, like is, uh, you know, is is our universities necessary for, you know, a successful career or something like that. Uh, but, but basically what I've heard is that the task two is pretty similar uh, for both options. Uh, in fact, the website I use uh, here, uh, IELTS is down with net, which is a nice free website. Uh, in fact, the task two, they don't make any uh, distinctions between the uh, academic and the general. Uh, so basically, it's just the same. Um, okay, great question. And any any more questions? Uh, does anyone have any comments? Um, any questions about the structure or something? Or... Okay. Uh, so what I'll do is, I mean, if you have questions, you can continue, obviously, the conversation, you know, and, and uh, there are uh, different ways, you know, to write it. So I'll put it there. If anyone has any questions, you know, about the, you can obviously just continue the uh, signal group afterwards. So, okay, let's go. We'll do some speaking, I guess. Uh, maybe we do a task one. I kind of refer to task one, but uh, at writing, but like also, okay, uh, it's going to get a little bit easier to write. Okay, uh, so. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, anyway, so I, I did actually, I think I hardly ever do kind of state my opinion in the first sentence, but just the first paragraph, but you know, I did. So I'm actually back at university doing another degree course at the moment. So we've already had these discussions already. And uh, so anyway, maybe it's influencing that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. So I uh, will welcome everybody uh, today. Uh, I'm not sure uh, who I haven't spoken to. I didn't uh, just uh, speak to you yet because, uh, uh, you know, uh, just to um, uh, camp, uh, do the writing, we're focused on speaking now. So uh, welcome. Uh, uh, to a new person here, uh, uh, Radio Ackman, I think maybe uh, we met before perhaps, and also Shamim, welcome also. Right, okay, uh, so uh, who wants to take the first Thank part? You. Uh, yes, uh, uh, hello Shamim, uh, 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 welcome, uh, nice, to, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, I hope you're well today. Uh, and and wh where do you come from, uh, Shamim? <clears throat> Actually, I'm from Bangladesh. Okay, good. And I'm new here. Today is my first term. I I, I have some questions. Yeah. Just uh, do you take this IELTS um, preparation every day, or you uh, have a certain uh, time? Yeah, it's it's um it's kind of actually new new activity. Uh, I think this is like meeting like meeting number three or something like that from from Signal, uh, the Signal group. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what I'm probably going to try and do at the moment is maybe just do sort of like five meetings a week or some of that maybe five or six um and the times may vary 
normally it's going to be 30 minutes, but uh, we didn't do one on Friday and all Saturdays, so kind of like maybe doing longer today. And um, and then also uh, because we're looking at the writing, obviously to give time for speaking. So yeah, I mean it, it could be um, uh, basically uh, the best way is just sort of keep uh, keeping the signal, and I'll just sort of say to people, you know, what is what is the best time uh, to to have a meeting, and um, and then you know people can say, oh, this such as such time, and I'll try and change it. I think it was actually someone else maybe from Bangladesh, maybe it's you or someone or no, or Indonesia or something saying it's too late. So I was saying, and where I mean, are you from? I, I'm, I'm, from, I, I'm from England. Okay. Good. Okay. Well, we'll go uh, ahead. Um, uh, so okay, because, how can I will know that you are today? You will take class. How can I? Yeah. Know that? Uh, okay. It's a good question. Uh, so, what uh, in the uh, chat um, window here in in Signal? Uh, I will just sort of message people um, and and ask them, you know, what time do they want? So I'll just say, for example, say uh, tomorrow. What is a good time for everyone so uh tomorrow monday uh so yeah so basically it, it's currently i mean it's it's the third meeting today so times may change a lot um but um so uh but keep an eye there and you can just you know just you, know, you and other people can say what is a good time uh to do it uh okay uh now i've just got a quick question uh from nezara how much time do we spend you spend on uh, writing uh, general reading score is very difficult to achieve. If academic students correct, uh, 40, uh, we'll get six. In general, reading 40, yeah. So um, what I'd say, um, Anessa, is just a great question. And uh, just, yeah, just kind of, probably it's good to have a teacher check your writing, see how you're doing. And then you can kind of like plan, like when, when you're ready to take, I think some of that. Uh, but basically, normally, for example, I do, I, you know, I, I mean, I, I've been teaching online for 40, over 40 years. Uh, for the IELTS, and all the what I say to students, uh, not not 40, 14, okay. <laughs> okay. And, Thank you uh, very much. And, and yeah, so what I say to students is, uh, you know, normally uh, try to uh, do um, uh, like two task ones, two task twos before classes, and maybe they'll take like two or three classes a week with, the, you know, with a private teacher that I, for example, the students that I teach. Okay, good question. Right, okay, let's go ahead. So uh, uh, we'll go ahead with task, uh, speaking task one. And, uh, okay, so if anyone wants to speak, uh, you can uh, just uh, raise your hand if you know how to do that or write in the chat window or unmute. And I'll keep an eye out to anyone who's muting who wants to take the first uh, section. Um, okay, I mean, I could I can answer the questions myself, but I kind of, I should know the answers already because I'm from England. Uh, okay, so who wants to take the uh, first answers? Uh, Everyone's very quiet at the moment. Um, I don't know. Okay, right, thank you. Uh, Nezar, uh, hello, what is your full name? My name is Nizar Abul Qasim. Can I see your ID, please? Yeah, here you go. How may I address you? Uh, Nizar, is just fine. Okay, and do you work or do you study? Well, uh, like uh, I, uh, I answered before, I'm working right now as a uh, safety man in uh, oil and gas uh, field. Okay, and why did you choose this profession? Well, since I was young, I like to, uh, to learn about how to protect the environment, how to protect people. Also, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's the knowledge of the, of the new, of the, of the world nowadays. I think everybody and every country is concerned about them protecting their people and protecting the, the environment, I think. Okay, great answer. Uh, and do you like science or not and why? Well, of course, I love science uh, because I think everything nowadays is based, uh, even, even before, everything is based on, uh, on science. For example, uh, uh, cars, telephones, uh, even right now while we are uh, while you are teaching us, it uh, depends on science. Everything depends on science nowadays. Okay, great answer. Uh, thank you. And uh, let's go ahead uh, to uh, Selanger. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Now, just one quite one little point. Uh, I think uh, uh, the pronunciation was based, uh, but it's based with a T. 
and you can check out the search light here. The link's in the Signal group, and uh, it's a nice uh, uh, topic uh, about uh, uh, that. Uh, okay, uh, right. Okay, let's go ahead. And uh, uh, so, uh, Seleja, uh, the question for you, it's a cue card, uh, please. Uh, so describing an item you have bought that you are pleased with, and please say where and when did you buy it, uh, describe the item and why uh, do you like it? Okay, so you have uh, one minute to prepare, Saleja, and uh, when you're ready, speaking for one, two minutes, please. What instrument describe an item you have bought, where, place, where? What kind of things? Uh, so, for example, maybe you bought a fridge or a washing machine or something like that, or a car. Yeah. Two years back, I bought a car, my husband, in UK. He bought in showroom. Okay. And yeah, I like yeah, I like car, but I can't explain. My English is not good. What what what, what car did it? What car was it? Um, Honda, Honda, I, I think. And why did you like the Honda? It is very comfortable for driving and. Sitting seats are very comfortable for me and my family. Okay, great. Okay, very good. Yes. So what I recommend is uh, Saleja is uh, try to practice uh, every day. Uh, so if you go to this website, it's a nice free website, uh, as blog, um, and then uh, you can come and you know search for questions for the UK or some of that. About good answers. Well done. Uh, okay, so I see, uh, yes, sir, thank you. Uh, Shamim is ready to uh, uh, speak, uh, hopefully, for the uh, section three. So, uh, okay, uh, Shamim, uh, uh, do you think uh, street shopping, do you think buying things in the street is beneficial uh, from a school or going to a big supermarket? Which do you think is better? I think it depends on uh, people's uh, income and their choice. Uh, sometimes I, when I feel that uh, my money will not uh, uh, enough for buying from shopping mall or very expensive clothes or something expensive, then I just uh, choose that um, <clears throat> from a street side. And um, sometimes I just deceive from when I buy from uh, the big shop shopping mall. And sometimes I just uh, benefited from when I buy from the street, small uh, street um, market. So I think it uh, depends on people's uh, opinion, people's uh, cho choice. Okay, excellent answer. And why do people choose, uh, why, do, why uh, uh, did you, uh, why do people buy some uh, things online these days? Um, interesting question because I also bought a lot of things from internet. I think it's convenience and uh, nowadays people are very busy. So, and uh, I think uh, comparatively, it's uh, cheaper than a shopping mall. And um, when people stay at home and uh, due to pandemic, it's also very easy to buy uh, from uh, internet, uh, shop internet shopping is uh, very popular all over the world. I think most uh, famous reason is uh, it's uh, their uh, it's lots of there is lots of internet uh, shop in, here and there in we can see everywhere in our internet and most of the people are now busy uh, with their um, uh, internet and just like they always use internet so they can uh, choose everything uh, on only finger trip uh, finger tap so it's uh, i think for that this is the um, most um, most famous uh, reason for buying things from internet and it's I, I, as I saw as I said that it's a um, convenience because um, we don't need to um, go uh, shop and uh, we don't need to uh, spend our time for um, transport and um, 
um, being ready with that uh, today I will go for shopping. So it's very easy. I just uh, choose my uh, product from internet and I shall order it and, be, uh, and, and I will get it um, at home without any change. Okay, I seem to answer. Uh, and uh, what, uh, how often do you buy things on the internet? Maybe every week, every month or something? Or Mm, actually, I bought lots of things from internet, uh, but not for every week or every month. I think uh, it's uh, I always buy if I have any upcoming uh, festival, and then I just choose that uh, what shall I buy, and then I buy from uh, internet. And I have bought um, um, very recently uh, some of my clothes because we had a wedding um, wedding ceremony. And um, I had bought it for a wedding ceremony. And um, I, this is not for every day or every week. Uh, I just bought it when I need to go any festival. Okay, right. Uh, very good answers uh, from everyone. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, so as I mentioned, uh, I will put the... Um, uh, the uh, uh, or, or our, our message and signal uh, about uh, the next meeting, uh, just when people are free. So thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, great to speak to everyone. And I'll uh, I'm recording this as I mentioned, so I'll try and put the recording in the uh, signal group soon. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. I wish everyone a great day, and uh, thanks for participating. All the best. Take care. Bye.